George Bernard Shaw once said, the single biggest problem with communication is the illusion that it's happened. Now let's think about that for a moment, the illusion that it has happened. Communication is very simply when there's a meaning or a message that I want you to, to understand and you receive it and understand it accurately, how I intended it, and vice versa, when there's something that you want to convey a meaning or a message and I hear, receive, and understand it accurately. Now the illusion that it has happened is when I walk away thinking that I've understood, but I actually haven't. Miscommunication has happened. A misunderstanding has taken place. And that has lots of implications. We've all experienced that breakdown in communication that has resulted in relational tension, poor decision-making, uh, fractured uh, teams because one thing was a understood but it was understood poorly so how do we approach these conversations with leaders peers direct reports and seek understanding how do we try and bridge the gap between the illusion that it has happened and it actually taking place good communication actually taking place I hear and receive and understand the meaning and the message that you are actually trying to convey so three tips for us just to be thinking on as we approach any one of these conversations. First, approach it with a sense of curiosity. Ask questions. There are four that I go to consistently and, and any kind of variation of these help me approach it with curiosity. Who, what, why, and how. Asking questions like who's involved? What is it that you're really wanting from this? Why is that so important to you? How have you approached this already? Seeking understanding starts with a sense of curiosity. I have to try and know and hear from multiple perspectives and angles what you're trying to convey. Second, be empathetic. In what's being conveyed to you and what's being shared with you, man, assume that they actually mean that, that that is a problem that they're talking about, that that actually is what they're feeling, that that is the experience that they're going through. Don't be skeptical or, or critical of what's being said. Rather, go back to point number one and ask more questions. I hear that that's a problem. Tell me more about this. Help me understand this from this perspective. What are you wanting from this? How are you approaching it? Why is that so important for you? Be empathetic. Hear them and assume that what they're saying is what they're actually trying to convey. And the second part of empathy is in what they're saying, put yourself in their shoes. What would you be experiencing? What would you be feeling? What would be your, your experience in that situation that they're conveying? Finally, just practice active listening. It's a word, a phrase that we've heard often, active listening. And uh, very simply, that can look like this. It can be not thinking of your response while someone else is trying to communicate something. Be focused on what they're talking about. Put away distractions. Listen for the meaning behind what they're saying, the, the emotions that they're conveying, both verbally and non-verbally, the message that they are genuinely trying to convey, uh, the themes of the conversation that are going through that. And Parrot that back. So what I hear you saying is blank. Insert the emotion. I hear you feeling this. I see you experiencing this. I hear that this is a problem for you. Is that true? Is that what you're trying to convey? And allow them the opportunity to correct you. No, that's not what I'm saying. Here, this is what I'm actually saying. Or to affirm that you actually have heard. Your role as a listener in helping good communication take place is to try and help the speaker go, yeah, you understand, you've heard me, you get it. So those are three things that we can do to help avoid the illusion of communication happening and help ensure that good communication has taken place. Be curious, be empathetic, and practice active listening.